How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and welcome back to another Pokemon news video. As you can see from the links up here, we have a lot of things to talk about. But first of all, I'm back on the Poker Beach website, because the beautiful, beautiful people from Poker Beach have published their article regarding the cards from Snow Hazard and Clayburst. All the cards have been revealed, so let's just go through these real quick. So I still don't know which set I'm going to buy. I, I'm probably going to buy whichever one is cheapest, which will end up being Snow Hazard, I have a feeling. Because Clayburst does contain the Iono secret art rare, or the Iono full art. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's kind of strange. Female full art trainers are really, really expensive nowadays. But anyways, let's go through these cards real quick. So we have a lot of cards to go through, uh, but instead of going through these like these, we will scroll down right here, because here we have the translations as well, which is really nice. So to start it off, we have a Sir skit right here. Nice, I like these. Gen Gen 3 representatives right here, following by Masquerain, which is also really nice. Combi, this Combi illustration does remind me of the Gardenia illustration from V-Star Universe, like the background especially. This looks really nice, I like this. Then we have the Vespa Queen right here by Megumi Higuchi. I think this artist was featured in my best illustrations from Sword and Shield video as well, pretty sure. And I'm so glad to see them back. This is this is an awesome illustration. If I remember correctly, like this artist has never drawn an alternate art or illustration rare. Although I might be mistaken, but I really hope they do continue making these great illustrations. It's look awesome. Also have a Snover, a Bomb of Snow. I'm not going to click every single one, just scrolling through, clicking the ones that I find interesting. For some of the Serena, this looks also really cool. Like the background, the jungle itself. Really, really nice. We have a Bramblin. A few new Pokemons featured here. As you can see, we have the Bramblin, we have the Bramblegast. We also have the Riolor. Two versions of this. And we also have the a few more legendaries now from Scarlet and Violet. We have the Wu Xian EX, which not only this one, the other other three as well do have amazing, amazing secret art art rares or secret illustrations rares. No, it's secret art rares in Japanese. Kind of confusing, as you're gonna see. This one in itself, though, it is by Five Band Graphics, but I I don't dislike it. Usually, I don't like this artist very much, but. This one looks fine, I think. This one looks this one looks pretty cool. We also have Meryl, because you can't go wrong with, with Meryl. Evolution Astro Meryl Love Disc. Ice Q, this is also pretty cool. Of course, by Kavayo. I thought I recognized the R style. That's that's just a common Kavayo W. Um you might remember this artist from the most commonly the, the Lugia alternate art from Silver Tempest. That one was absolutely amazing, and they continue to draw absolutely amazing cards. Also have a Sea Toddle, a Sea Titan. Just look at this. I like this. Like hand drawn and everything, really, really cool. Let's see, Veluza. We have oh yeah, the Friggy Bax Evolution Lion. This one also has a really cool um art rare. Art rare line, as you're gonna see in a second here. This also, Akira Igawa. Man, man, just look at this illustration. I I I can I can tell you right now, Akira Igawa is my favorite artist. Like holy moly, the, the stuff they put out is amazing. Here we have another by Koki Saito, the evolution of Frigibex, the Artibex. And Koki Saito is also a really, really great artist. And then of course the the last evolution, the Bexcalibur, also really, really cool. Here's the other one, the Qian Pao EX. Once again by, no, this is by Aki C CG Works, okay. This also, I, I don't dislike this, this looks also kind of cool. We have a Slowpoke by Soso. Once again, Soso capturing the, the Pokemon perfectly and just making them look as cute as possible. Amazing. Slowking EX by Five Bang Graphics. Still pretty cool though. We have a Gothita, a Gotharita, and a Gothitelle. Pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool. Mimikyu, Mimikyu's making a return. I do like Mimikyu. 
Mimikyu is pretty cool. We have a Sinisti. This is also pretty cool. The Claymation. Claymation style among the real cups. This is... I really like this for some reason. Usually I don't like the Claymation style, but this is really cool. Also have a Poltergeist right here. Let's see, Rapska. Rapska also has a really, really good illustration rare in this. Really cool. We have the, the Menki, the Primeape, and most notably the Annihila Ape EX. This, I think, in English might not be contained in the main set. This might be contained as a promo, but we'll just have to wait and see. We have a Sudowoodoo. We have a Gimlet. Glamora, Murkrow, this is also really, really well done. I really like this. To zero. This looks really nice. It is, it is a murder of crows. The night sky, this looks really nice. I really like this one. The Honch Crow as well. I really like the stance of this Honch Crow. It's like, he's like an opera singer about to, to perform or something. I really like this. Let's have a Mastiff, a Mabos Tiff. We have a Bronzor. This also looks amazing. Chinji Kanda. Yo, the use of colors and everything. This looks really, really good. We have a Bronzong Corviknight by Scav. Also really, really cool. q -Fant. Let's see. Oh, the Copper Jaw EX. This is also going to be... No, I think this will be featured in the main set. This is by Uta. Let's see what that Earthworm. Earthworm actually has a, a really good illustration where in in this one as well. Like all of the illustrations are pretty good, as you're gonna see in a second here. Dunsparce, of course, the Dunsparce. Once again, really cool, really cool illustration rare. We have the Wingle. You know, the Gen 3, Koki Saito. Gen 3 Pokemon being featured. I like this. Also like the background. This is really, really nice. And the Pelipper. Really cute. We also have a Slackoth, a Vigoroth by Ghidorah. If you might remember Ghidorah, Ghidorah actually drew the um the what we call the Grusha full art in in um Snowburst or Snow Hazard as well. So this is this is top notch. We have a Slack King, Rockadi, Cova Squire, Squackabilly, EX, Super Rot. Motivational Lemonade. So we go the full art trainers, the normal ones, or the the trainers, not the full arts yet. We have the Grusha, drawn by Ghidorah. We have the Giacomo, which is really nice. We also have this one, dude. Check this one out. The Snow Mountain of Disaster. Yo, this looks super, super nice. This is so well illustrated. We also have Reversal Energy. And here we go. Let's move to the actually let's let's check out the the full arts for for um what we call for snow hazard first. So here we go, the secret wares. So we have the evolution line of the Friggy Bags from Tomokazu Komiya, who is very well known for this psychedelic artwork. Just check these out. These look super super cool. And they're all and they're all just artwares, they're not secret artwares, so you could potentially pull the whole evolution line in Snow Hazard. Here's the Rapska I was talking about earlier by Nagamisu. Really, really awesome artwork, I really like this one. Here's the Earthworm by Okacheke. Also really cute. And here is the, the, the Dunspars. Lots of different Pokemon in the background as well, I really like this one as well. This is really nice. And here we have... I don't want to say the main the main part of Snow Hazard, but you already know this is going to be the chase card for a lot of people. We have the Grusha Full Art, and I do have to admit, I kind of prefer this over over the Yono. Like he he looks super cool in this one, and the the background is especially cool if you catch my drift. No, his he looks pretty cool in this one. Also have this one. This also looks super super nice. Yo, the jungle and everything. This is super well done. This might actually be my favorite of the like four legendaries. We also, of course, have in Snow Hazard, fittingly, the Xian Pao. This looks, this is by Kodama. This also looks pretty cool, but I think I prefer this one. And then for the last secret artware from Snow Hazard, we do have the Squackabilly. 
Okay, let's move it on to, to Clay Burst. Right off the bat, we have a Hop up here, Skip Loom, Jump Bluff, Pine Co. This looks kind of cool. Oh, once again, Koki Saito. I wonder, like the cards that I think look cool are always by the by the artist I like most. Gosan, this also looks really nice. It's always the same. Namel. Also have a camera up. This is really, really cool as well. Let's see, anything else that catches catches my eye immediately? Oh, of course, Pikachu. Pikachu by Okacheke. Yes, super, super cute. Super well done as well. And Raichu. Raichu most notably has a really, really cute illustration rare in this one. As you're gonna see, Shinx. Super, super nice. Also, Aldo Kato. Let's see, what else? The Jump, or the Jigglypuff, yeah, this is also super cute. Spiritomb, Sendegast. Cerulech, this is also super well done. This is such a cool illustration as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, Tinkerton, right, that's that's right, Tinker Tink, Tinker Tough and Tinkerton. Um, this has also a really, really good, cute um, illustration or art rail um, evolution line in this one. Super, super nice. Let's see. Oh, we have the Crow Gunk by Kawayo. Like the background, if you if you've seen some of the other illustrations Kawayo has done, you immediately recognize their illustrations just by the background. At least, at least that's 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 how I see it. They're so easily recognizable. Let's see, what else do we have here? We have the, oh right, the Sneasel. Also have the Weavile, the Evolution. Let's see, oh, the Tyranitar. This looks super cool. I haven't heard of this artist before. I do have to look up if this is like their first card or if they have drawn anything else. Because this is this is like the first time I've, I've seen this artist, but this is super, super cool. Oh, the Graf Hi Fi, yeah, this one also has a really, really cool illustration rare, or art rare. I keep mixing them up. Here's the Neubet and Neuvern that was featured earlier. The Girafarik by Chris Aki, super nice. And the Farigiraf by Koki Saito. Let's see, Tande Mouse, ta how Mousehold, Flamingo or Delivery Drone, Charm of Courage. Here we have Sanguaru who has just been revealed. This was revealed, like, very, very late into the expansion. And then, of course, Iono by Sanusuke Sakuma, who you might know also drew Friends in Gala, my favorite full art trainer card, back in VMAX Climax. The Iono also have Wilderness of Disaster. Yo, check out this illustration. It looks super, super well done. Drawn by the same artist who drew the, the um, Snowy Mountain of Disaster. And we have Therapy NG. Okay, let's show you... Let me show you the... The secret art rares. From Claybers. Here we go. First of all, we have the Raichu. This looks super, super cute. I really like this. We also have the Tinkerton Evolution line. We have a Tinker Tink. We have a Tinker Tough. And we also have the Tinkerton. This is really nice. Here is the Gita Fai Fai. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. By Oswaldo Cato. Yo, he knocked it out of the part with this one. This looks really nice. We also have I've completely, completely forgotten about this one. We have a mouse hold illustration. Or art rare. I've completely forgotten about this one. This looks pretty cool as well. And we also have the Flamigo. This also looks really nice. And and here we have the Iono full art from Clayburst. This looks really cool. I mean, this is drawn by Sanosuku Sakuma, as I've said, the same artist that's behind Friends in Gala. But you already know this card is going to be crazy expensive, right? This card is going to be super expensive. To my surprise, though, like this time around, the trainers don't have SAR versions. They seem to be back to only SRs with the trainers. At least for now, we'll see if that changes. I don't know what to think about that, honestly. I did kind of like the SAR twist on, on certain trainers. But yeah, you already know this card is going to be crazy expensive on release. This is like, if I just had to take a, a wild guess, this is a wild guess, 
probably 1,500 euros. I'm just gonna put this out there. It might, I will hope, I hope it won't be this expensive. Because this is actually pretty cool. But you already know, female full art trainers, for some reason, super expensive, at least the Japanese versions. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just move it on to this one. This is by Akira Igawa. And this is actually giving the Wuxian a run for its money. This looks really, really cool. The Chiyu. Yo, this is so well done. Oops. This is so well done. Just check this out, man. And then, of course, we can't forget this one right here. We have the Ting Lu. This also looks really, really nice. But yeah, that's that's the, the Clayburst and Snow Hazard set featured right here. Really, really cool, cool cards. I... I would say Clayburst has the better cards in terms of the the secret art rares or not the the um yeah the secret art rares and SARs because and normal art rares unless you're really after the the frigabacks I think I'm pretty sure Snow Hazard will end up being way way cheaper than than Clayburst mainly because well not just because the art rares are better, and the secret art rares, in my opinion. It's also, all well, this card. This is the main thing that will make Clayburst that expensive. It's kind of ridiculous. But anyways, let's move it on to the next topic on our agenda. We have here more news about Snow Hazard and Clayburst. This is the, the Pokemon Center um, trainer box, or whatever they call it. And this contains most notably two booster boxes. One snow, um, snow hazard, one clay burst, and you also get like these these cool looking sleeves right here. Of course, the deck box featuring Iono, and you also have these these sleeves right here, of also featuring Iono, and you have these these card dividers. Looks like you get about six dividers in total. Two of them that come with the deck box deck box itself, and then like four extra. The sleeves, though, I do have to say, the sleeves are actually really, really cool. I love these sleeves, but the thing is, I mean, I, I, I just sleeve up my cards and then stick them in a binder, so I would never see the back of the sleeve anyways. But this is still pretty cool. I really like these sleeves. Moving it on, we also have finally news of the Pokemon 151 set, the upcoming expansion, which will, which will release on 16th of June over in Japan. And this is gonna be super, super cool. There aren't too many informations right here, but from what I can gather, let me just show you some of the cards. We have, we have Kadabra and Alakazam making a return. You know, there was the, the whole dispute with, with Uri Gela and Pokemon, the Pokemon company couldn't, couldn't print, um, Kadabra. And I think, I think Alakazam they also couldn't print, but I might be wrong on that. But they're making a return, and they're making a return in style, because the whole evolution line is illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita. This is, this is so, so cool. This is super, super nice. We also have more cards from the 151 set. If you've followed my Twitter, you know I've already, already retweeted this. We're, we're having a new Mew card. It's a Mew EX. And I have my hopes up that that Mew will have a special illustration rare, like a secret art rare, a secret rare. Whatever that might be. I'm really, really hoping for that. That would be so, so cool. But this in itself, this looks super cute. I really love this card. This will go into my Mew Binder for sure, like, right away. This looks super cool. Let's see, we also have, of course, because it's 151, you know, classic set, we also have Giovanni featured. And the same artist that actually drew the Tyranitar that I featured um, a bit earlier. And I think this one, like Giovanni, might actually get another, um, another full art. We already have Boss's Orders. You know, featuring Giovanni most notably, but he might actually get another full art, which would be pretty cool. Let's see what else. Of course, the the original starters from Pokemon Pokemon Green 
over in Japan. And we have red, blue, and yellow. Really, really cool. All these these starters right here. Super well done. I'm I'm excited to see what this set all contains. It's gonna be awesome. And then we also have two products here. We have this one. These products are basically the same. The only difference is this little binder. And this is similar to the Pokemon Go set. Like there was a Pokemon Go product. Like I I don't remember what it's called, portfolio mini set or whatever. You get like four booster packs in that one. And like this little portfolio binder and then a special promo card. And this is basically the same. You get, I think, five booster packs of the 151 expansion. And you also get these cool reverse rares of the three starters. And this is the same one, just with a different different little binder. This is pretty cool, but the binder itself, from, from experience, these little portfolio binders are actually pretty bad quality. Like, I, I wouldn't actually use these for my cards, I have to be honest. But it's still pretty cool, nonetheless. Okay, let's move it quickly on to Scarlet and Violet. This is what I wanted to talk about in this video as well. The pull rates and the prices for Scarlet and Violet. I've mentioned it in my, in my um, booster box opening video that the pull rates are pretty good. And I think, I think that ends up being true. Because if we just look at these, these pull rates right here... The, the Miraidon EX is 1 in 309. This is open, this is data from 8,000 booster uh, booster packs, which in itself is a pretty low sample sample size. But I think this gives you a general idea how, how rare certain cards are. So, I did pull the Koraidon EX in my, in my opening, which coincidentally actually ends up being the rarest card from this sample size at least, which is... Kind of shocking, honestly. But this is this is pretty cool. We also have the the Miriam, one in three hundred twenty. The Miriam SAR or the Miriam Illustration Rare. In one in three hundred and seventy six. We also have the God of War in one hundred and two hundred eighty ninety eight. And the pull rates itself, these might seem a bit high, but I also have brought up the the pull rates from Silver Tempest right here. Sorry about the resolution. This is the best resolution I could find. If we just compare these with Silver Tempest, which was, you know, Sword and Shield's last main set expansion. We're not counting Crown Zenith because that was like a special set. So let's just compare these. We have Silver Tempest right here. 650 or 684 for the Lugia V. And then if we compare that to the Miraidon, 1 in 309. So the pull rates for Scarlet and Violet as compared to Silver Tempest are twice as good. For Latrena, let's just go for the Miriam or Penny, as compared to the Friends in Gala or Serena. It's kind of ridiculous if you think about it. Like how, just how rare these cards are in, in Sword and Shield main set expansion. This is kind of ridiculous. We also have the, the Training Gallery cards. We can't cover those, but the Gold cards. We also have the Gold cards. One in 809. If we compare this to right here. 100 and 376. Yep. This is kind of ridiculous. Like the pull rates, as I've said and as I've as I've heard, it seems like the pull rates are way, way better in Scarlet and Violet. And I do hope I do hope they continue this trend going forwards, but only time will tell, I suppose. I also have this one from TCG Player. This is the price shift of the cards from release date, which was 31st of March over to, to Monday, I also have the prices, the current prices right here. Let's just take a look at these real quick. So the Miriam SAR, the most expensive card in the set, was $97 on release date, and it dropped down to $75, which actually is where she's sitting at right now, so she hasn't dropped as much. But if you think about it, the most expensive card in the set is $75. If you just compare that to Silver Tempest once again, where the most expensive card was the Lugia Alternate Art, and that one was over 200. And this is this is amazing for collectors and players alike. We also have the Miraidon, which went from $70 to now $60. So that's a nice price drop. The God of War EX didn't drop as much. It was $50 on release, and right now it's $44. Okay, it dropped a little bit. 
but not as much as the other ones. I think part of the reason is because, from what I've heard, God of War EX is actually going to be a really, really good deck going forwards. Speaking of, of competitive right here. Like the God of War, God of War EX decks might actually end up being pretty, pretty good. That's why this card isn't dropping as much as the other ones. Let's see, the normal Miriam was $41. We have now $28, so that's a nice price drop. Let's just go for the Nest Ball. The Nest Ball was $22. It only dropped 1.57% from this one right here. But as you can see right here, it did drop a bit more. But... I think from the from the God of War EX and Nest Ball, I don't think these are gonna drop any anymore. At least not, not by a huge margin. They might drop a little bit, but I think they will settle at this price right here. Because both of these cards are really, really good in, in the competitive scene. Like Nest Ball and God of War EX are pretty good. So I think that's why they might not be might not be dropping as much as the other cards. Let's just take a, a look at the gold cards as well. The Miraidon EX, which was $30 on release. It is right now $20. So drop $10. The Koraidon, which was $22.90. That one right now is $13. Yo, the prices are, are really, really good for, for the new set. But anyways, that's all I have to say about in this video. It's gonna be a pretty long video. If I'm just looking at my recording here. But I hope you did enjoy it nonetheless. If you did, then a like would be super duper very much appreciated. And consider subscribing for more awesome content in the future. And thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.